What's up everybody? I am back again with another video and today we're going on a different reaction. Let me read the title for y'all. Hold on for a sec. Top 10 times Deadpool roasted pop culture. So I haven't seen this before. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications and make sure you don't miss another video and let's get into it. Watch out for this guy, Cable. He's very short, 5'11", not like in the comics. And if we succeed, we all go home early. So welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the times that the Merc with a Mouth skewered figures and moments from outside the Marvel Universe. I wanna see you out that door, baby, bye, 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 bye. Number 10, Deadpool Roasts Trailers, Deadpool 2. I was born into war, bred into it. People think they understand pain, but they have no concept of it. In case you needed further proof that Wade Wilson can't take anything seriously, just look to this characteristically irreverent trailer promoting the franchise's first sequel. Initially, the trailer appears to be advertising a dark, gritty, dramatic cable film, which, hey, we definitely would not turn down. Dale, why, why, why are the visual effects not done? It's a metal arm! Nearly 30 seconds pass before Reynolds' most iconic character literally stops the proceedings by pausing the trailer and lambasting an unseen Dale, before referencing the famously troubled production of Warner Brothers' Justice League. The rest of the trailer sees Deadpool taking matters into his own hands, by childishly using action figures to act out the plot's broad strokes. Reach for the sky! <gasps> oh no, Sheriff Deadpool. Number 9. Deadpool roasts Liam Neeson. Deadpool. I had a Liam Neeson nightmare. He dreamt I kidnapped his daughter. He just wasn't having it. Okay, so Deadpool isn't exactly the best judge of character. No one's disputing this. That said, he does raise a pretty good point as to the existence and primary plot of the Taken franchise. While in bed with Vanessa, Wade awakens in a cold sweat, revealing that he's had another Taken nightmare. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. For the uninitiated, these highly meme-worthy movies starred Oscar nominee Liam Neeson as a retired CIA officer whose family is repeatedly kidnapped. The films follow Neeson's efforts to retrieve them. Wade remarks that after three movies, one has to wonder if Neeson's character is any good as a father. Possible setup for a Deadpool Taken crossover? Almost certainly not. But wouldn't that be something? But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Number eight, Deadpool roasts t-shirts. Deadpool and Deadpool 2. I just, I just want to get to know the, the real you, you know, not the short, shorter two-dimensional sex object peddled by Hollywood. Admittedly, this entry isn't a roast as much as it is a loving homage. In the first Deadpool, film, your friendly neighborhood pool guy is seen prominently sporting a t-shirt bearing Golden Girls star B. Arthur's likeness. Ryan Reynolds reportedly met with the late performer's estate and paid $10,000 out of his own pocket for the rights to Arthur's face. That money was donated to charity. Always one to outdo himself, the film's sequel has Wade wearing an Olivia and Meredith shirt. If you're a Swifty, you might recognize the pair as pop star Taylor Swift's beloved kitties. Who knew Deadpool was so in touch with his feminine side? Don't try to chase me. Wait! Ready to be touched again. All these old guys on the wall. Who lives here? Callista Flockhart? Number seven, Deadpool roasts musicals. Deadpool 2. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you see me? It probably goes without saying that the Deadpool franchise is hardly family-friendly viewing. That said, as we've explored on our channel before, Deadpool is no stranger to letting the Walt Disney Company have it. Do you wanna build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. In a hilarious bit of meta-comedy, a clip from Barbara Streisand's 1983 classic Yentl plays in Deadpool 2, featuring Bab singing Papa Can You Hear Me. After Vanessa meets her short-lived, untimely end, Wade is heard singing Do You Wanna Build a Snowman? 
famously of the Frozen soundtrack. The deadly assassin then muses that the two songs bear more than a passing resemblance. Can you hear me? Is it just me, or does, do you want to build a snowman from Frozen sound suspiciously like Papa Can You Hear Me from Yentl? Number 6. Deadpool Roasts Ryan Reynolds' Family, Deadpool and Wolverine I am soaking wet right now. Did you need further proof that Deadpool has precisely zero filter? Oh, you didn't? It kind of went without saying? Either way, let us break it down for you. Series star and co-writer Ryan Reynolds has never shied away from roasting himself, and in Deadpool and Wolverine, the Canadian-born actor's family takes some of that heat. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Early on, Deadpool quips that Gossip Girl, the CW teen drama that gave Reynolds' wife Blake Lively her start, puts him, um, in the mood, let's say. Lively later shows up in the film as Lady Deadpool, a Deadpool variant, while the couple's children each have their own cameos. It's only nine people, but my entire world is right here in this picture. And I have no idea how to save it alone. Number five, Deadpool roasts like every pop singer. Deadpool 2. Don't worry, you're not gonna die. Although these will kill you. Hit it, Dolly. Once again, we think these roasts were executed, no pun intended, with genuine love and fandom. In Deadpool 2, the titular character name drops several pop stars, both living and, you know, not living. The opening credit sequence is set to Dolly Parton's 9 to 5, with Reynolds referring to her by name. Deadpool also quips that he wants to name his and Vanessa's potential child Cher, which he later reiterates over her If I Could Turn Back Time. I'll be right back. We're definitely naming our kid Cher! George Michael and David Bowie are referenced, with Poole mourning the former while quoting Careless Whisper and taking solace in the fact that Bowie is still around. Uh, who's gonna tell him? Mr. Poole, David Bowie is da, 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 da. still with us. We do. We'll always have Bowie. Number four, Deadpool roasts Josh Brolin. Deadpool 2. My name's Cable. I'm from the future. Just walk away. We wonder if Brolin knew the degree to which Reynolds slash Deadpool would be taking aim at his long and storied career. Or maybe he contributed the roasts himself? In any case, the Oscar nominee is clearly a good sport. The most obvious target in Brolin's career is that, while he plays the mutant Cable in Deadpool 2, he's better known for his iconic role as MCU baddie Thanos, which Deadpool explicitly references. Zip it, Thanos, we have a deal and you fuck ah! The Merc also roasts the actor himself. Attempting to physically describe Cable, Deadpool notes that Brolin isn't quite comics accurate casting. Careful, Pool. We've heard this guy's inevitable. Watch out for this guy, Cable. He's very short, 5'11, not like in the comics. Number three, Deadpool roasts Warner Brothers, Deadpool and Wolverine. You're letting him kill Martha. <laughs> What does that mean? Why did you say that name? Was this all too brief Deadpool and Wolverine cameo the movie's most epic? While the jury's still out on that one, audiences cannot deny the charge they felt when a Wolvie variant turned around to reveal Henry Cavill's blindingly handsome mug. In short, Cavill played Superman in the ill fated DC Extended Universe, receiving critical and fan acclaim for his performance unceremoniously ousted from the role following the critical and commercial failures of several DCEU films, the Cavalrine acknowledges that the actor is a popular choice for fan casting the mutant, not to mention his tenuous relationship with the studio that distributed the films of DCEU. Who's that? You must be new to the Let the Meat Cake beat. That is Bruce Wayne. Number 2. Deadpool Roasts Ferris Bueller and the Audience Deadpool by the time the first Deadpool film rolled out into theaters in 2016, superhero movie fans were well acquainted with the infamous post credit stinger, which had at that point appeared in nearly every MCU movie until that point. As such, I don't want to hide from them anymore. What do we do? Are we not men? Such, fans knew that given Deadpool's reputation for making fun of superheroes, this trend would be roasted in some way. Oh, you're expecting a teaser for Deadpool 2. Well, we don't have that kind of money. We expecting Sam Jackson show up with an eye patch and a 
saucy little leather number go? In the character's typically meta fashion, the Deadpool post credit scene features Reynolds reenacting the stinger from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, in which Matthew Broderick admonishes the audience for having stayed in their seats. Deadpool puts a twist on this by lazily proposing elements that could appear in the film sequel, seemingly roasting the MCU's tendency to include heavy foreshadowing in their post credit scenes. Mr. Stark, you become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Deadpool Roasts in Sync – Deadpool and Wolverine For one brief, shining moment, Deadpool and Wolverine had us reliving the glory days of the early 2000s, when gas was cheap and boy bands ruled the world. As the Merc handily dispatches a group of Time Variance Authority soldiers intended to bring him to Mr. Paradox, the shocking violence is interspersed with the titular character reenacting the iconic choreography from the Bye 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 music video. Wade Wilson? Who's asking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo. Unfortunately, the moves aren't all Reynolds. While the actor handles some of the simpler moves, they're mostly performed by Nick Pauly, a dance double. At least he's credited as Dance Pool. What was your favorite Deadpool and Wolverine moment? Let us know in the comments. You're still here. It's over. Go home. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Okay. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I don't, I don't know, to be honest, like Deadpool, like Deadpool is like, like because it's the unstoppable killing machine and I ain't lie, he is kind of funny but i haven't watched like even deadpool one or two or three like i haven't watched i haven't barely watched the, any of the movies any of the deadpool movies i haven't seen i think i did see the first one but i ain't see the second one so that's crazy to me so so anyway I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video. So, y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's, and I will see y'all guys in the next top video. Peace.